So I'm getting the, um, I got the 7D and it's, it's, getting, it's getting along pretty well. I'm going to turn it on here. And um, I really haven't had many dropped frames. I shot some stuff of Valerie yesterday, which I'll, I'll show you soon. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Really nice. So are you going to see your brother? Um, I'm going to celebrate the real Christmas that with Mary and Steve. That's my real Christmas because they're like my family. On New Year's Eve, I'm going up there and staying overnight. Oops. <laughs> Turn off. Have raw on it. And, um, yeah, I mean, I have the focus zoom working pretty well. I'm recording the EOS M setup that I have. Well, it's been a fun week shooting a Magic Lantern on the uh, Canon 7D. Seems very robust. I haven't had any problems. Um, battery seems to last quite a while. Um, loving the footage I'm getting out of it. Um, with using the um, MLV producer, the workflow, um, you know, I can just tweak in there to get what I want. And then I'm ready for the NLV. I don't want to do any uh, fancy, you know, color grading or anything. Um, I just bought the Sigma 17 to 50 2.8 lens. It's on there right now. But everything you're going to see shot after this is with the 18-135. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I use MLV Producer to take the Magic Lantern uh, MLV files from the 7D and, and use them. So uh, I'm just going to have to file, open MLV Raw. Um, I've, I take I already did this so it takes it here. Um, here you can see the video. By the way, all right, so I do very basic stuff. I'm sorry if uh, what I'm doing seems stupid to people. Um, I just basically do an auto white balance, and then just bring up the exposure to you know to what I like. I look at the histogram up above. Say I'd leave it here. Then you definitely need some sharpening. I feel so I'm just going to bring like smart sharpen up to whatever. Again, I just do it by eye, and then I'll usually need a little. Um, more contrast, so bring in film contrast, just enough to get a, couple, a solid black in there. And then I usually bring up the saturation a bit um, to bring some color. So that looks good enough for me. Then I select the um, the path that I want to put the um, the file in. Um, so I can just put it back where I where I had it. And then um, here on the resolution, I set to 1920 by 1080. It's great how it will upscale um, the resolution um, from the camera because the camera is actually shooting natively 1728 by 972. So again, 19. And, um, and then the, the codecs that you can choose from are amazing. I mean, all these high bit H264, or even 444 color space, and then ProRes 420, 422, you know, all this stuff. Um, I was doing 422 for a while, but that seemed, it's probably overkill. The Premiere had to sort of deal with it to conform it, so now I'm just going to go with the uh, H26422. Um, and then you just basically hit Render Task. Uh, I already did it before, so I'm going to overwrite it, yes. And then it'll show you, and it renders it, and you take that clip and you put it into the, uh, into the timeline. The other thing I want to show about MLV Producer, this guy is uh, very smart, um, there's um, uh, not here. There's uh, in edit. You can actually save your presets. So once you have all the presets for a scene, you can save it. So you see, I have a few over here, um, and then you can load them up again. So anything you set here, you can save and load. Um, I haven't even begun to tap the potential. I think of the software. Um, it's just fantastic software, and whoever created it, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, now onto the uh, onto the clips of the past few days uh, with the seven day.
Thank you.